Hi everyone, it is Caroline again and I have another video for you guys. This one's going to be my April 2020 to June 2020 life update. Um, as I said in my previous um, for life updates, um, I have been kind of busy lately and those four previous life updates I explained why I haven't been doing YouTube videos and it's just been really busy and crazy and and also dealing with this coronavirus pandemic. Um, so now I am officially back. I will have my videos up on my YouTube dates which are usually on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Um, so, I am officially back, so this is my April 2020 to June 2020 life update. Um, so, as I said in my last update, which was my January 2020 to March 2020 life update, that, um, the coronavirus pandemic started here in California slash USA America really bad back in back in um, March and everything especially where I live at here in California all everything was starting to shut down everything was getting canceled like events that you know that were happening here um, and you know the stores were getting low on stuff because everybody was just panicking you know there was hardly hardly any any anything at the stores and it was just like a big old you know mess so and it's now it's April 2020 um, and it's still the same um, so everything's still shut down still closed restaurants um, stores everything People are, are out of work by now. They're staying home now and working from home or just staying home if they're not able to work from home and kids are already are already out of school and doing school at home or figuring out how to do school at home with their with their school. Um, so it's just like really bad um, I never experienced anything like this before in my whole life um, and the economy economy is going down as well and it's just a terrible 2020 I thought it was gonna be great but it just turns out to be a bad terrible 2020 and dealing with this and hearing on the news that Cases are rising all over the world and and also in America and also in the foreign countries where it started and people are starting to get really sick and starting to be hospitalized and even and also even dying no matter their age if it's like a child if it's like a teenager a young adult um, an old elderly person it's just like getting really terrible and bad it's just getting worse and worse so like like people are starting to struggle by not being able to work kids are starting to like like get frustrated by not being able to go to school or even see their friends or even have that time you know like they used to when they used to go to school they have to stay home they have to figure out what to do at home if they don't have like anything to entertain them um, and parents I'm sure are getting frustrated and and like especially when you have to go out to the store to get stuff everything is totally gone the stores are like out of everything it's just like getting really bad it's just like terrible you know especially for me that I have to deal with since my mom and husband are still able to work but I have to stay home 
because I don't really work. My husband works. He want, my husband wanted to work and he wants me to stay home, especially when we have our family in the future. And I want to be a stay-at-home mom in the future when we have our family in the future. Um, so, especially for me, it's really hard because the only thing that I would do um, was my dance classes. But now, dance class, all of them are all canceled. The dance studio is like closed and shut down right now. You know, it's mandatory. Mandatory to stay home and mandatory to wear your face mask and wash your hands and sanitize your hands after you wash your hands with soap. You, it's mandatory to also sanitize your hands and if anybody that still is working, um, it's mandatory for them to, when they get off work, to take a shower, shower and change your clothes right away right when you get home so, you know, you don't end up catching it if you're around a lot of people at work um, and it's still mandatory to still be six feet apart even when you're in public, social distance and all that so the doctors and the, the scientists are saying all that they're reminding everybody every day on the news to do all that so you don't end up getting really sick or end up in the hospital or end up passing away like most people have already been through all that or a loved one of theirs have already, you know, been through all that. Um, so please everyone, listen to the scientists, listen to the doctors, and do all that. Let's all stay safe out there. Um, let's, you know, have this virus go away as soon as possible and not keep on happening. And let's all hopefully get back to normal um, so everybody can go back to work and kids can go back to school and things can get back to normal so do your part and wear your face mask wash your hands sanitize your hands right after you wash your hands um, social distance stay six feet apart um, shower right when you get home even if you don't work even if you go out and do errands still do that take a shower when you get home and change your clothes um, um, so please everyone listen to the scientists listen to the doctors and do all that to keep all of us safe and we don't have to be in the hospital we don't have to um, end up passing away like most people already have passed away, you, you or your family member or loved one won't have to work, won't have to, you know, end up um, having to go through all that, like most people in their family have already been through all that, um, so please, so, yeah, let's do it for the, you know, do it, you know, for the good yourself um, so since there was nothing going on in April um, besides having to stay home since our stay at home order was issued um, I didn't have any dance classes all my um, all my um, um, events that our dance class our high hope dance group was going to be part of that our city was going to have it was everything was canceled all the events that we were going to perform at um, um, I didn't have any rehearsals for the Little Mermaid show that was supposed to happen in June but my dance studio that I'm part of that I do my ballet classes at um, so we didn't have to, we didn't have anything much going on um, so so like in the middle of April um, um, my dance studio, the, 
ballet teachers for my dance studio and also my high hopes dance teacher um, started um, like the Zoom um, the Zoom um, video chat things. Um, so like the high hopes dance group, anybody that's in that group, um, they were they were they started doing the Zoom. Um, so since we're not able to dance at the studio because of the coronavirus and the shutdown, they still wanted it to, they still wanted to do something, so, you know, um, to still make it, you know, fun for everybody that's in the High Hopes Dance Group, so they started the Zoom, you know, video, um, um, like the Zoom video, um, um, chats, and they started to do the, like, dance, dancing, like, at home, like, dance routines, or if anybody that wanted to um, join, they sent them, like, a link or an email saying, sign in, here's a, here's a link, and you can join us on that day that they have it and um my dance studio where I have my ballet classes at they started doing that as well so people were still able to that were in the dance studio and in the dance classes um were able to still dance at home so instead of being too bored so the teachers from the dance studio and my ballet dance classes and my high hopes dance class um dance group um started doing that for all of us um so that we can still st stay safe at home and still social distance and still have fun dancing and not miss out on our dance classes since everything was shut down and closed and we had to stay home with the stay at home order that was issued and keep it keep us all safe so they started that on the zoom the zoom website thing um video chat zoom thing um so um but um for me it's like kind of hard to do at home um like i'd rather be inside a dance studio and be inside there and do it person instead of like on a video chat or video call or something and also I don't really have a lot of space in my apartment well in my mom's apartment because we live with my husband and I live with my mom we live you know in a small two bedroom one and a half bath apartment and there's not really a lot of space and like sometimes it's like too noisy and it's just like a lot of chaos um, with my mom and my husband if I am doing that on the zoom with my dad's classes and and like I said I don't really have a lot of space and I don't want to hurt myself by doing like anything ballet wise or anything with my high hope stands class I rather have like a lot of space I don't have that right now so I haven't I have not been doing like that when they had the dance classes on zoom um so I really haven't been doing it and I also prefer to be inside the studio instead because I like to, I'm I'm more comfortable being hands-on than like on a video chat or a video call or something I'm more comfortable being inside like in person in the dance studio instead of on a video chat or video call on the zoom the zoom um website that they do their dance classes on um so i um haven't done it i might start doing it but i haven't done it yet um since i really do love dance and as i said in my my last life update. I love dance. Ever since I was seven, I love doing it. I love tap and jazz.
videos ever since I started doing that when I was younger, and then now I'm doing ballet. I love ballet. Um, so it's in my it's in my soul. It's in my blood. I love doing all that. Um, so I haven't done anything on the Zoom um, with my ballet class or the High Hopes Dance Group yet. But like I said, I might start doing it, but I haven't yet. And also. I've just been like going through all these emotions as I mentioned in my last life update all these emotions and all these you know feelings inside me like it's been really hard to deal with and and you know I really want to go out with my husband and have date nights or day dates um, but we can't because everything's shut down still and it's just like really hard, hard on me, especially with me that has a learning disability. It's hard to deal with certain serious stuff like this sometimes. And I get like all these emotions. I get depressed. I get angry. I get upset. I, you know, have all these emotions in me, especially if it's hard to understand and why it's happening and hard to like deal with sometimes. Um, because of my learning disability and I don't have my worker come over anymore and she helps me calm me down and she helps talk to me and, and we, you know, don't have that anymore in person because they have to stay home as well so they don't end up getting sick or their family don't end up getting sick from them. Um, but she does text me and she does, you know, call me just to make sure I'm okay once a week. So she's been doing that lately as well, um, just to make sure I'm okay to see how I'm doing with dealing with it and dealing with everything else that I have to deal with, you know, as well. Um, so that was pretty much a well, and also my mom. Um, celebrated her birthday also in April. I forgot. I just remembered. <laughs> um, so there was nothing really going on in April besides that. We're still dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and um, they started the video chat Zoom for the dance classes and also for my High Hopes dance group. Um, so I didn't really start anything yet. And also I've been busy catching up on my, on my pen pal letters because I was so behind from months before because I, when I did start half dance class I would be so busy with my dancing and now that we don't have dancing I, I am catching up you know was catching up on my pen pal letters but now that I'm all caught up I have now time to do my YouTube videos for you guys um so so yeah so and so that was pretty much April, um, nothing much, just the same old thing, um, because of the virus, um, and for my mom's birthday, we didn't really go out, there was restaurants open, but you cannot eat inside the restaurants, so we just got whatever she, whatever she wanted, we just had to get takeout food and bring it home and eat. restaurant because it was shut down but they still had service like for deliveries or to um, pick up um, order and then pick it up and take it home um, so they still have that going on but you cannot eat inside a restaurant um, but they still were able to deliver or or order and then you come and pick it up and then take it home um, so they still have that option so that people can still be able to work as well. Um, so yeah, so we just went somewhere and had to bring it home. I, um, so she, we just got my mom something and I got her a little gift too for her birthday, which was in April, 2000, April 4, 2020. Um, so we didn't really do like a big, thing because of the virus as well um so so yeah
yeah, so that was April, not that much, but yeah. So May, May was my birthday. I turned 35 years old on May 6th, so on that day, um, um, we had to get takeout food because, like I said, the restaurants were still shut down. Nobody was able to eat inside. You had to take it to go. Um, um, so I wanted Mexican food. I was just craving it that day. I wanted Mexican food, so we went to a nice Mexican restaurant when we were able to get it to go. They were still open and we had to take it to go. So I wanted like tacos. So I got tacos and um, my husband and my mom got something else. I don't remember what they got. So um, that's what basically happened on my birthday. Um, they both had to work that day. So afterwards we got dinner when they got off and they got me a few gifts as well, not much. And the restaurant, the Mexican restaurant where we got dinner, um, they had fried ice cream, so I got that instead instead of like a cake, instead of my mom making me a cake, I wanted fried ice cream, um, if you guys haven't tried it, you guys definitely need to try it, it's really good, um, if your Mexican restaurant has it, you know, definitely, I recommend trying it, or any restaurant that you go to that's a Mexican restaurant, if they have fried ice cream, so good um so like I said I was just in May um catching up on my pen pal letters relaxing doing what I can do to not be so bored and also the same thing for April um and like um doing what I can do to not be so bored since we couldn't do much because of the shutdown had to stay home and my mom and husband were at work and you know stay stay home and be safe and stuff um and go out when needed I did go out a few times with my mom I to the store just to get out because you know on the days that I've been home or the week the week I've been home I wanted to get out like one one or two days a week just to go to the store with my mom because I was sick of staying home by that time um, so, and I was getting bored, so I decided to go with my mom to, you know, out to do errands or to the store, um, a few times a week, like one or two days a week, um, just to get out, and of course, we, all of us wore our face mask and washed our hands and used sanitizer and also took a shower when we got home and changed our clothes and and we're six feet apart and social distancing when we did go out to do errands or or went to the store or something we were following the doctors and following the scientists so we were on top of everything um so so yeah basically that was may because there was nothing going on dance class yet on the Zoom website. I didn't start my ballet or my high hopes dance class yet because, you know, I didn't want to do it yet, just yet. Um, and, yeah, just doing other stuff, but I was still going through all these emotions still as well. So June, the same thing, you know, stay at home. Um, as much as I can and went out as went out as needed went out as needed or as as when I wanted to go out um, and still wearing the face mask social distancing wash my hands using sanitizer after we wash our hands taking showers every time I go out right away right when I get home um, and still following the scientists and the doctor and the government or you know 
orders um, and not being able to do much. If it wasn't for the coronavirus, I would have had my rehearsals for The Little Mermaid. I, we would have started, we, they started, you know, we would have still had them um, in April and then in May we would have still had them as well in May and then picture day was supposed to be scheduled for May so we would have had picture day in our Little Mermaid ballet um, show costumes they had picture day scheduled for May something I can't remember the day that they had it scheduled but it was actually scheduled for May um, so um, it was like a week after my birthday I believe when they had it scheduled um, but it was cancelled like, like I said everything was cancelled and we would have had rehearsals still going on getting ready for the show in June um, but like I said everything was cancelled postponed um, you had to follow the doctors and the scientists and the government orders by staying home and shutting everything down to make sure everything everybody was safe and not get it and not get worse like it already was getting worse and the cases were like rising really bad um, everywhere all over the United States here in America all over every foreign country as well that was on the news it was just like, really hard like I said like I said um, 2020 the beginning was good and then back in March started to go downhill from there because everything started to get worse. The economy started to get worse. The cases were starting to get worse. You know, the stores were starting to get worse by not having much and everybody was panicking way too much. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was, you know, it's just like, you know, not good at all. So we would have not have everything canceled. We would have kept going. Everything would have been back to normal. None of this would have happened. We would have had our dance. I would have had my dance performances with my high hopes that we had scheduled at different events. If they weren't canceled, if this virus did not happen, um, I would have still been in the Little Mermaid show. And we, we, we still would have had rehearsals and leading up to the show. We still would have had picture day. But like I said, everything was canceled and postponed until next year. We'll see how next year is. Um, so, yeah, basically that was May. The same thing as before, as April and March. Um, so June... There, like I said, they would have had the show in June. It was scheduled for June 6th, right in the beginning of June. So we would have had the recital in the Little Mermaid Belly show. Um, so June. And then after the Little Mermaid, after the recital, I still would have had my ballet classes because they still had classes after the recital. Um, for ballet classes, all the hip hop classes, all the tap classes, and all, all the jazz classes, and, and I think the musical theater was still going to happen until the end of June, that's when they stopped dance season, and I still would have had my High Hopes dance um, class as well with my dance group until like the second week of June, that's when they, they High Hopes goes on, you know, summer vacation like the second week of June and then like the end of June that's when um all the other classes from the dance studio starts to go on vacation like towards the end of June early July that's when they start having summer break as well so like I said nothing much same old same old listening to the doctors and still social distancing and staying safe and staying home as needed and going out when needed and wearing our mask and washing our hands and sanitizing after we wash our hands and taking 
showers when we like when we go out we take a shower right away and change our clothes right away and still stay safe and and so on like the doctors and the scientists and the government ordered for everybody to do all over here all over america in the united states and all over the, the world in foreign countries so please everyone be smart um still happening, um, please be smart and listen to the scientists and listen to the doctors. Don't listen to anybody that's not a scientist or a doctor. Be smart about it. You know, social distance. Stay six feet apart when you're out in public and social distance. Don't be stupid. Wear your face mask. Every time you go out, even when you're in your car, still have your face mask with you so you don't forget it when you step out of your car. Um, have sanitizer in your car um, just to have if you're not able to wash your hands somewhere. You have it with you in your car and you have extra face masks in your car. If there's nobody that has a face mask, you have extras in your car. That's what me and my mom has. We, we have sanitizer and we have face mask in, a, in our car um so we are prepared um if you want to have gloves it's not it's not mandatory but it's an option if you feel comfortable wearing gloves too you're you know that's what the doctors say it's not but it's not mandatory as the face masks are and as the sanitizer is and everything else that they're saying but if you feel more comfortable wearing gloves you're you can too when you go out in public but still listen to the doctor listen to the scientists and the doctors and scientists they know because they, they they know and listen to your governor um so please don't don't be stupid you know listen to them um and let's all stay safe out there and kill this virus so that things can get back to normal um, and do it for yourself and for your family's health especially your loved ones who are like elderly people um, or anybody elderly teenagers young adults and, ch and children please do it do it for them and also for yourself and others out there as well that have that in their family um so please be respectful um you know do it um listen to the doctors and the scientists um and your governor um do do it all so please so i'm gonna end this video here i know it wasn't exciting as my past videos my past life updates but since this virus started there's nothing really much going on or too exciting happening um so that is it and i have one more life update to do which is going to be my july 2020 to september 2020 coming up after this one so be on the lookout for that and if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment box down below. Send me positive comments. Please do not send me any rude, nasty, or negative comments. If you do, your comment will be deleted and you will be blocked from this YouTube channel of mine. Um, and if you're watching this and if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscribe button be notified and also give it a thumbs up if you like it um so please i want to keep my channel positive i want to um keep it great i have some more videos coming up for you guys i have all my unboxing videos i have all my oopsie bridge box love with food box walmart reading boxes fat fun boxes and maybe once i'm all caught up on all those videos i will hopefully have some new ones that I have in mind I know I've been saying this in my
my past life updates. You guys want me to do a day in the life one. Maybe I will start doing that once I'm all caught up with all my unboxing videos and all my life updates that I still have to do for you guys since I took that long break and but now I'm back. Um, so please, let's all stay safe out there. Let's all listen to the scientists and doctors. Um, social distance. Um, wear your face masks. Stay six feet apart. Um, um, wash your hands. Use sanitizer as well. Um, if you go out, if you go out when you come home, take a shower right away and change your clothes. Um, so please, let's all stay safe out there and kill this virus so that things can get back to normal as soon as possible. And we don't have to have, we don't have to lose any more of our love, of your, you know, any more, any more people that's already passed on because of this virus. Or if you have any loved ones that passed on because of it, you don't have to lose any more. Do it for yourself, do it for your children, do it for your family members, especially your elderly people. Um, do it for them, do it for your future children. Please do it. Stay safe. Be responsible. Be respectful. Listen to the doctors. Listen to the scientists. So please. So that is it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. And also if you guys want to follow me and my other social media sites, the links are down below as well. So that is it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.